Oh, we are so back. Guys, I have to be honest with you. I have fallen off on my 30 minute four bar loops, but I am back and I am doing one for you today. Why do we do this? This is just a really fun exercise to get out of your brain. So just start creating as fast as possible. See how much you can create of the four bar loops in 30 minutes. So let's just jump right into it. I just wanna make sure I have my Logic Pro ebook handy just in case I want to check for any quick tips. I also use my own ebook to remember all the shortcuts people are always like sabrina how do you remember all your shortcuts um i use the book <laughs> that's how i remember all right timer on and let's jump right into it so for today i'm going to start with chords and i'm going to start with this synthesizer i just love this synthesizer right now let's see what we can find <laughs> But I'm gonna use chord trigger. I don't know why, I just feel like using chord trigger. Some of you guys saw this on one of my other videos. Oh yeah. I kind of feel like doing something like kind of fast. And when I mean fast, I mean like 140 BPM. All right, let's record something in. But you see how they don't have all the, the notes? I want all the notes. So I'm just going to go over here and then do record to track data here. And we're going to record this again. All right. Quantize. Let's check it out. All right. And I want to use... Q flam. Yeah. All right, let's get a bass line in. So I'm honestly just going to drag this down. I'm going to press command A and then command down, arrow key down to just select the bass note. And then I'm going to select shift I <laughs> to select the inverted notes. They're all here in this ebook but i actually do have some of them memorized guys but this will be all in section five in the piano roll tricks for those of you like following along uh yeah and then i'm just gonna click delete now i'm gonna find a bass let's find something in anna too i i do appreciate anna too i don't know if you guys have checked it out <laughs> Okay, now let's mess around with the bass part a bit. I just like to like break them up real fast. And then maybe like. here for it let's add some drums okay i'm gonna find something from splice 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 up your life if you're having a good time splice up if your life if you're having a bad time <laughs> Now 
I'm just holding down option drag to like put them where I want them. the snare to be just a classic kind of beat nothing too crazy what would it sound like here don't like that kick but i want to use this kick there i just like this kind of kick instead so just gonna place it where all that ones are just like bam i'm just gonna like delete this one change up the bass. Okay, now I'm looking for some hats. I think I have like 15 more minutes. I kind of like this, let's see. Kind of feel like this might be the vibe. Now we get like this cool kind of like rocker tone. We need to change up this vibe. Okay, I'm running out of time. Let me add like a melody or something. Maybe some plugs. Oh, and because I don't have a photo here, I'm gonna press Command K so you guys can see what I'm figuring out. And I'm just like trying to figure this out like by ear. <laughs> show you guys a cool trick that you can do to just like speed things up you can press time handle so i kind of want this to be fast let me just try to record it one two. Uh, okay one more time I 
I need the metronome, baby. One last time. Two, three, four. Let's see, I wanna see what I can do. like stacking up melodies. Maybe I can automate it so it's like quiet at the end. Okay, so I love this because I have my auto select automation parameter in read mode. So now it's already there. So I can just like click two points and like I want it I guess one more point. I want it to be like complete silence here in these breaks. So we can make it like a more of a gradual ball. Right. Well, I'm just about out of time. My dog is freaking out. We could arrange it just a little bit. So I'll just go like, just do all of this. And then I just kind of like add stuff along the way. Uh, let's see. The drums don't have to come in. Yeah, maybe we'll have like a big fill here. Ah, just real quick. And we'll start without bass. So here we go. And maybe we'll get rid of those too. All right, here's what the four bar loop I have that I did in 30 minutes. Honestly, that's what I try to do on like a daily basis. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I hate them. Today I'm like, ah, there's bits I like about this. I want the drums to be different. Um, maybe add some guitar. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I finish this one or should I dump it? I'm free. <laughs> my husband rescued my dog. Smash or trash? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you gonna try a four bar loop in 30 minutes? Let me know. If you wanna grab this ebook that comes in my Ultimate Logic Pro bundle, it includes video guides, it includes four song starters, and three desktop wallpapers in two different sizes. It's on sale right now. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope, at the very least, this video inspires you to just create just create to create because life is short and if you're watching this video you probably just love making music like I love making music and who cares if it sucks truly who cares even if it's good people are gonna think it sucks so just enjoy your life and see you next time